What's happening everyone? Welcome to another tutorial from InFictionOnline.com I don't forget on our site and click on this tutorial request link here on the left side that'll bring you to this window here you fill out this form you can send a request on any software title or any type of tutorial computer related that you're interested in and we help you as best as we can alright if you're on YouTube you can check out our channel youtube.com slash online. don't forget to leave comments rate the video and subscribe to our channel that's what keeps us going that's what keeps us strong All right so without further ado let's get into this current tutorial how to video in this tutorial we're gonna go over a software called spybot search and destroy it's for spyware malware it's a free application and very very helpful in something you want in the background if you have some other anti-malware anti-spyware on your system it's best to disable them while you're running spybot they might not work correctly together and at time they will try to get rid of each other's files which is not good and cause future problems now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you find it spybot is free you just, just go to google and type in something simple like spybot download right here I'll go to here this is the home of spybot Okay, what I'll do is I'll go down to hosted by safer networking and I'll download SpyBot from there. See the link here, download the SpyBot. If you're using Firefox, that and it starts the download process. Now of course, um depending on how you have it set up, I have mine set up to um after this download is complete the installation file will be on my desktop okay okay once you open up the file or in my case the file was spybot sd i guess version 152 you see here to set up your course the welcome screen user agreement okay here you see the destination folder Okay, here it asks you the different components that you want to install, additional languages. I'll just unselect that. Skins to change appearance. That's totally up to you and the download updates immediately. That's something I would definitely recommend you download. And a separate secure shredder application. We'll go over that uh, at a later time. Alright, but I'll unselect the skins. This is me personally, but these are totally up to you. Okay, that's the name of your program group. And here's your um quick launch icon to desktop icons. Okay, you see permanent protection. Use Internet Explorer protection. SD helper and they use system settings protection, which is T time. And we'll go over these later, but you keep these selected. I keep the desktop, take that out, select next. This is your summary, you select on install and now SpyBot is going through the installation process okay so once setup is um pretty much complete you'll be presented with this selection here you see it says run SpyBot search and destroy and also run T-Time and I'm explain what T-Time is T-Time is basically a program that runs within SpyBot search and destroy and what it does is it runs in the background of your system any malicious programs running in the background and try to make changes T time will pick it up and actually what you want to do. All right, so for this tutorial, we're definitely going to have that select. Sorry, you have the spy bot search and destroy wizard here. You see, we have step three. Now we can cancel this or uh, go on, but I will always recommend creating a registry backup. Registry is a very important part of Windows. Then you select on next then here it asks you to search for updates this is definitely a process you want to you want to do of course you have to um be connected to the internet so we we'll select on that button there and it asks you select a place you want to download your updates from now of course we're in America so what you want to do is find the USA well it's a few here from the USA you could pretty much select any of them select continue and you see the different updates it have 
anti root kick plugins one two three English help files you can select them and unselect them using your discretion tea time updates main updates we'll keep them more selected then select on download okay then you see you receive this information and spy by is telling you please reapply immunization after this update it's recommended that you do a full scan after this update also right you select on OK okay and here you see that you have checkbox by all your updates so you just select on exit okay and you see here immunizer system now immunizer system basically locks your browser down okay it will it will stop any malware from hijacking your browser while on or offline now in their help files it says specifically Internet Explorer I'm pretty sure it works for Firefox also but I won't guarantee it or assume it once you select on the immunizers button you see protect it yeah you select on next they have a built-in tutorial that's written if you rather go through the written or you want to go through the details you can select on that you see the help file then you see start using the program which is right here in the background Clay, you see it says applying passive protection okay so once spy spybot completely starts you're presented with this this is the main menu here you see this button here check for problems recovery search for updates pretty much explains what's what and this tells you this starts searching your system for your problems uh, basically uh, spybot would check your registry your hard drive and other places that spybot hides out so we're going this side here explain what here you know what donations is your updates immunizers we went through that uh, earlier recovery that's the spot by got rid of a file and it affected one of your applications and you need to recover it you can go here and then search and destroy which is basically here right okay so first thing you want to do is select on the check for problem okay and if if you allow Spybot to check your temporary files, it basically would take longer for the scan. So that's totally up to you. But you can get rid of your temporary files. They're really not that important. Okay. So now Spybot is basically scanning the system. And you see here it gives you the hints of the day. And below here it tells you the thing that is running checks on different well-known malware malware that runs on your system okay so once spybot finished searching your system it comes up with the results that is found and you see like um ad revolver burst media and so forth you see these are all red entries now red entries is absolutely safe to remove now when you see green entries that's your cookies internet fingerprints and so forth those are safe to remove they're not dangerous but if you see black entries black entries I wouldn't recommend removing because those could be shared DLLs uh, missing links or broken desktop shortcuts and those could propose a potential problem in the future alright so you leave those alone and once you go through these here you see all these, all these um, entries are selected already you select up here fix selected problems then spybot <clears throat> starts the removal process you see here is 65 problems and it says it's fixed okay then you see the check we let you know that they all was removed if the system you're working on is completely infested what I recommend is starting your system up in safe mode and allowing spybot or any antivirus or anti malware Alright, and you can also run the fix selected problems again.